Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the free Ample Bass P Lite 2 VST plugin in Reaper. So the Ample Bass P Lite 2 is a free VST plugin that works in Reaper for both PC and Mac. And its basic function is to simulate the sound of a real bass guitar. And it does a great job. So let's go to the Ample Sound website. Go up here to the download section, and then down here to the free software section. We can see the Ample Bass P Lite right here, and a few places you could download it for free. And once it's installed, we could open up Reaper. Let's go over here and create a new track. Let's name it Bass. Put it in record and set the input to my USB MIDI keyboard, which is down here just to show you what I'm playing. It's not a part of Reaper. Then we'll go to the track effects and choose instruments and ample bass P Light 2. Double click it, and this is what it looks like. And there's a bunch of different options we can go through, but honestly, we don't have to worry about most of it. If you're curious, hold your mouse over each one, and it'll tell you the different options. But for the most part, we can just use this how it opens up by default, and it'll behave like a real bass guitar would. For example, if we play an open E and then a fretted G, it'll sound like this. The notes are completely separate, but if we hold down that open E while we hit that fretted G, it sounds like this. Notice it creates a hammer-on, which is naturally what would happen if a bass guitar player was playing it and pushing down that open string on a fret. Although we can still play chords if we want, as long as the notes are in different strings. Otherwise, the second note will cut off the first. Which makes a lot of sense for how you play a bass guitar. But for this video, I want to focus on these three main areas. This first one in blue is where we're gonna play our bass guitar notes. And it's typically in a bass guitar's range. Then this yellow or gold section is for articulations, which changes or affects how the first section behaves or sounds. And then the third section is for creating noises or bass guitar noises. So the first articulation we're gonna check out is buzz. Let's play a high E, Now it's hit it again along with the C4 key. Notice it adds a buzz to the sound, as if you're holding down the string, but the fret is buzzing. In this next option, we add a descending fourth right after the note we hit. And the C5 note will add a unison of the note we hit right after it, which is useful for making multiple notes sound more natural, like this. Otherwise, if we hit the same key multiple times, it'll sound like this, instead of this. Which is similar to these two notes over here, single note repeat to make it easier to play double or triple notes. Without it, it would sound like this. 
instead of more naturally like this. In this note, we had an ascending fifth. In this note, an ascending octave. Next, we have some noises like scratch one and scratch two. That we can play before and after our notes like this. Then we have an accentuation noise, which sounds like this, which is great for the end of notes. So it sounds like we're stopping it with our hand. Then we have slap left and slap right. And finally, we have effect slide one through four. So we could slide into certain notes. So let's try recording a full part. Now typically, I would just play down here in this section all the notes I want and then add in the articulations and the noises later. But for this situation, I practiced it a bunch and I'm going to try to do it on one pass. So try to follow along, but I'll still go over it afterwards. Let's give it a shot. Let's close this, and here's the part we recorded. Down here are the notes, and up here are the articulations and noises. Let's solo it, and let's open up the MIDI editor by double clicking the item. Once again, these are the notes, and it starts off with some noises. Then it plays some notes with the noises. With some slides up here notice these notes are just repeating the lower ones to sound more natural along with the upper octave over here and 16th notes over here. And at the end, added a buzz. So let's unsolo it and hear it with the drums.
So as you can see, by adding in the articulations and the noises, we can get a very natural sound from this bass plugin. And once again, it's free and sounds pretty good. So that's pretty much it. That's the free Ample Bass P Light 2 plugin in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!